So moments are used to describe characteristic of a distribution and means how a distribution will be. Or suppose you have some values, say x i values, I have some 10, 15, say 20, 25, 30, I have some values of x. Okay, then for these values, for these values of x, you can find its mean, median, modes, and the deviation, variance, everything we can find out for this one. So, if I am going to find out the mean of this one, this will be in 100 it is, huh? 55, 75, plus 10, this is 100. The okay, total is 100. So, here some expression of xi is 100 and here x bar is equal to this 100 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 that means 20. 20 is the mean. So, here this mean what you call, this mean is a moment, is a moment means uh, all these values, here the mean is 20 means all these values are in and around that 20. Okay, when you add something this 20, you are getting the next values. When you subtract something with 20, you are getting the other values. So, this 20 is taken as the base for this distribution. Okay, so that is what is written here. The two, two moments of first and second order are mean and standard deviation. Moment of first order is mean and moment of second order is standard deviation. That means what you had uh, done in the previous days, we wrote there mu 1 dash, mu 2 dash and all. So, mu 1 and mu 2. Then, a mu 1 dash and mu 2 dash. This and mu 1 and mu 2, both are different. What difference is there, I will tell you. So, here what we can say is moments are used to describe characteristic of a distribution. So, if I say the average of a or the mean of a class, mean marks of a class is 20, a person can understand that the students of that class got marks above and below 20. That is why it is average is 20 marks. Okay. So, if your class got average marks is 30, then a person can understand that the students of that class got marks in and around this 30. Okay, in and around 30 means a little less than 30 or a little greater than 30. Okay, so that is the distribution of that uh, data, what is given there. So that is the two moments of first and second order, that is the mean is the first order moment and mu, mu2, that means variance or so standard deviation, square root of variance is standard deviation, they are the first and second order. Distribute, I mean moments. Okay, then the mean is the representative figure of a distribution, and standard deviation says how much the value spread from this mean or a particular value. Okay, means standard deviation or variance means variance itself, the word itself means what how much it is differentiated from a particular value. Suppose variance we know it is xi minus x bar the whole square upon. And that is variance means how much each value is deviated from the mean value. Each value is deviated from or the difference between each value and its mean value. When you take the square of that one, you are getting the variance or how much each value is deviated from its mean value that is variance. Okay. So, that is a moment of second order. Similarly, there are moments of third and fourth order. So, you have to study moment of this row and central moments of order <coughs> 4, up to 4. Okay. Now, this row and central moments, two types are there. You can see here, there are two types, row moments and central moments. Now, what are row moments and central moments? These moments are defined about any value or about the mean. Okay. When moments are defined about any value, when moments are defined about any value, we call that as what? They are called as row moments. Okay. And when moments are defined about the mean, when they are defined about the mean, we call that as the central moments. Okay. Then they are called as the central moments. Means when moments are defined about the mean, they are called as central moments. So in this case, this variance is a row moment or a central moment. Variance is a row moment or a central moment. 
moment defined about any point a any value any point a which is denoted by mu r dash so rho moments are denoted by mu r dash the okay, mu r dash and central moments are denoted by mu r so rho moments are defined by mu r dash and central moments are denoted by mu r okay and this mu r dash is given by 1 upon n summation of fi into xi minus a the whole raised to r okay summation of fi into xi minus a the whole raised to r divided by n and where that n means this n means it is total sum of that frequencies n equal to sum of fi so that case comes in this data suppose here xi is given fi is also given fi is a 2 pi like this 2 pi 3 like this it is given then sum of this fi sum of fi that is sum of fi we take it as what the sum of the sum of all frequency that we take it as capital n okay then so raw moments are given by the formula 1 upon n summation of fi into xi minus a the whole raised to r and now if I replace this xi minus a, if I replace this xi minus a by another a symbol say di, then this mu r dash, then mu r dash will be equal to 1 upon n summation of fi instead of this xi minus a, I give it as di raised to r. Okay, now here this n can be like this also summation of fi di raised to r upon n because if somewhere you refer if you see like this both are same only so 1 upon n summation of fi di raised to r that is summation of fi di raised to r upon n this is mu r dash means moment with respect to any point okay now the central moment Central moment means if the moment, arc moment of a variable x about the mean x bar, which is denoted by mu r. This is called as a central moment. And this is the formula for this one is 1 upon n into summation of fi into, kya change hoga, there it is just x bar, xi minus x bar, the whole raised to r. Okay. So this is mu r. 1 upon n summation of f i into x i minus x bar the whole raised to r they are called as a central moments mu r dash is means r dash means it is rho moment so that is 1 upon n summation of f i into x i minus a the whole raised to r this is the definition for mu r dash okay so that is now if i want to see what will be mu zero dash mu 0 dash means what I have done is in place of r I have put 0 okay in place of r I have put 0 so that is 1 upon n summation fi into xi minus a raised to 0 okay so that is equal to 1 upon n summation of fi into xi minus a the whole raised to 0 this term raised to 0 means it is 1 Okay, so that is 1 and that is equal to 1 upon n into, now summation of fi is again what? Summation of fi is again n. So the answer you are getting it is 1. Okay, so mu 0 dash is 1. Then mu r is summation fi into xi minus x bar the whole risk r upon n. Okay. Now mu 0 I want to find mu 0 is equal to summation fi into xi minus x bar raised to 0 divided by sorry we want to find mu 1 mu 1 so mu 1 then so I put instead of r we replace that r by 1 so that is equal to this is equal to summation of fi into xi minus x bar. x bar raised to 1. xi minus x bar raised to 1 means it is as, uh, same will come. So now I am taking this fi inside. Summation of fi into xi minus summation of fi into x bar. Whole divided by n. Okay. So now that is equal to 
that's equal to summation of f by now step by step i am doing summation f by x i divided by n minus summation f by divided by n and this x bar is already a constant okay x bar means it's a mean so already you got that as a constant value it is a number it's a constant value so i will take that x bar out okay so that now what will happen there so this is minus x bar into summation of fi upon n now that is equal to summation of fi xi upon n is x bar minus this x bar summation of fi is n so n upon n is 1 so x bar minus x bar equal to 0 we will get so mu 1 is equal to 0 okay so similarly the same may be did for mu 1 dash i mean mu 0 dash and mu 0 same way you can find out mu 1 equal to 0 second moment about the mean x bar that is the variance so that is represented by the symbol as you know it is mu 2 mu 2 that is the central moment with respect to second central moment with respect to the mean that is mu 2 mu 2 is equal to variance and we know how to represent that is sigma square okay then there are some relation between this row and central moments some relation and this part is very important there are some relation between row and central moments the first one is mu1 is 0 second mu2 equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash the whole square if you remember expectation see expectation we had expectation of x variance of x equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square okay this expectation of x square expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square this expectation of x square is mu2 dash and this is mu1 dash the whole square so mu2 is equal to that result in other words is this mu2 equal to mu2 dash minus mu 1 dash okay so that is the second result mu 2 is mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash the whole square third mu 3 this central moment mu 3 is equal to mu 3 dash means how this central moments and row moments are connected to each other that is what is shown here how the central moments and row moments are connected 